Well, the rain is slowing down, but many rivers are still rising. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us where the water is the highest and the new way to check water levels in your neighborhood. Just south of Carver, the river is taking over the road. It's also taking over some precious land in River Valley Horse Ranch. It's shut down most of our trails. The two hours underwater, a lot of the one hours underwater. Looks like the road's going to be closed later today. But the hay is great. That's the so, upside. Yeah. The other upside, the rain is slowing down. But according to the experts at the National Weather Service, we're not out of the woods yet. Over the next probably three or four days, we're going to see, especially the Mississippi levels, continue to rise as both the Minnesota and a lot of the smaller rivers end up just flowing into it. Um, so the response is a little bit delayed from the from the rains that we saw yesterday and, and over the past week. Um, so even though we're going to be dry for the next uh, seven, ten days, um, we're still going to see the river levels increasing for the first half of that. So if you're wanting specific information for where you live, you're in luck because they just launched a new website. You can click on, say, the Mississippi and St. Paul. So you can see the record level for that area is 26 feet. So Tyler says to proceed with caution. For the rest of this week, it would it'd be a good idea to pay attention to kind of your, your, your local river levels and see where they're at. But then afterwards, they should either be going steady or begin to taper off after that. Which is good news for these walkers who no matter what are determined to stay the course. We're improvising on the trails, still making sure that everybody has a good time. We're still open. With photojournalist Joe Berglove in Jordan, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO News.